So here we are with the Acer Iconia W4. I've installed Windows 10 build 10.130 on it and it's working pretty well. Um, the build uh, 10.130 is available as an ISO as well. So it's a great starting point for testing tablets. What I want to do very quickly in this video is just go and show you some of the tablet mode features. Uh, but to start with, let's just take a look at the desktop and the way that uh, universal apps are now floating on the desktop. So here's the <laughs> now infamous start menu, it's back. Um, and what you get is a kind of, if you look at that side of it, you get the classic start menu. And then you get um, tiles and the old Windows 8.1 style start menu there. You can add, take away, make it smaller, make it bigger, do whatever you want uh, to that. All apps are available on the left under all apps. And uh, let's just start a couple of apps. There's Spartan Universal app just floating on the desktop there. So that's quite nice. And we'll start uh, weather and we'll start uh, what else news as well. So obviously, we've now got tablet apps floating on the screen. Um, it's kind of interesting. You can actually pull them to the to the left and snap and pick a second app and that will resize, so that's quite nice. You've actually got quite a nice tablet feature there in the desktop. But I don't want to show you that, I want to show you the tablet mode itself. And you do that by swiping in from the left where you get your notifications uh, um, menu now, and that's great. You get a history of notifications, uh, whereas before you just got the five second notification that went away, you could never see where it was afterwards. So you've got that, and now you've got tablet mode. You can collapse this down here if you want. You can open it up, and this collapsed mode, you can choose what you want to show there. Um, so let's go to tablet mode anyway. You'll see that app switch to full screen straight away. Now, switching between apps is a matter of swiping it from the, the, the left-hand side there. It shows all the open apps. So it's not a case of swiping, swiping, swiping new apps in every time. You swipe from the left just to see the overview. Um, so let's uh, just go to the weather app there. And what I want to show you is the side-by-side -side snap feature as well. So you drag it down from the top, push it to the right, and it fits half the screen. And then you get the choice to select a second app. Um, Actually, I think you can run multiple versions of the same app now, but we're going to choose news. And on the right hand side, on some apps, um, I'm now going to choose a different app. I'm going to choose Spartan. I'm going to put that on the right. I'm going to put weather on the left because I think Spartan is one of the apps that actually resizes slightly. So you can um, you can actually uh, let's just go to your NPC portal on on that one there's a little, little bug there it shakes around in the middle um come on let's just do this pc, PC portal come on um i think that's going to get to the, the site there you go so there's your mpc portal in a very very small screen I'm just going to pull that out the way and go straight full screen to Spartan now because I want to show you reader mode, which is, uh, it was there in Windows 8.1 and highlighted as a new feature in Windows 10. And what it does, it strips out uh, based on probably divs, uh, column IDs and names, does its best uh, guess at what the content is on that page. And it usually does a pretty good job. You can zoom in and you can set the background color. You can set this to sort of dark mode or light mode. And it's a really, really nice way of reading content on a web page without getting distracted by not only just ads, but being able to resize the text as you want it and to have it nicely flowing there. Everything's really nice and smoothly on Spartan. In that mode, you can also use the annotations feature. So we'll go into that and we'll select the annotation feature and um, just do some stuff there. You can put uh, comments on, um, yeah test that and then um, you can actually share that using the sharing subsystem which was in 8.1 as well to apps that will accept a jpeg in this case let's just go back to the uh, full screen full fat version of the browser which seems to be working pretty well apart from funnily enough some google websites which don't seem to be working uh, we're down here in the cellar way away from the wi-fi hotspot so that's probably why it's taking a little while to to actually uh, come back with the full site. 
Now then, what about starting a new app? Now this is um, a little bit of an issue. Um, a lot of people have been feeding back to the Insider program about this. Starting a new app means hitting the Start menu, hitting this Hamburger menu, hitting the All Apps menu, and then scrolling and finding the app, which really isn't that good. Let's do that again. We want to start a new app. Start button, Hamburger menu, down here again for All Apps, and we'll go to uh, we'll go to alarms and clocks this time. So um, it's not a very nice way to be starting apps at all. You'll also see um, there's a lot of space here. Now, a lot of people have com been complaining about that. If I just, um, just turn that up into portrait mode, that should, unless I've turned off auto-rotate, which I might have done, Okay, I managed to get into portrait mode and back again, and it's refilled most of the space there. So, so if those of you that were really worrying about um, so much space being there, don't worry too much. It looks like it's a bug. I'm just resizing a couple of those icons so you can see that you can resize them. One of the really annoying things uh, for me at the moment is not only that this um, this hamburger menu requires you to go to all apps, is that what would fix this is if you put all the apps on the start menu, but it's a really tedious pro uh, process of adding them um, rather than what seems obvious to me is doing that action. You actually have to go and do a long press on each of them and then, well in that case that's already pinned, let's go to the camera. Oh, that's already pinned, <laughs> let's try uh, documents pin to start um, each time to actually try and get that onto the start menu. So a really quick fix would be sort of right click on all apps and then add all to, to start menu, which would seem to make sense. Or have, as in 8.1, that sort of um, last bit of scrolling which brings all the apps in. Okay, let's just uh, take a quick look at uh, portrait mode there's only one real major difference and that is that with this 1280 by 800 screen you can't snap left and right so you're looking to swiping into the left and choosing your apps and still not as good as Windows 8.1 which allowed you to just do that to switch between the apps but I'm not too worried about that uh, that shortfall there one more thing that's instant go it used to be called connected standby and that is the limited running of Windows 8.1 now universal apps in the background when the device is off only available on certain platforms uh, notably the bay trail uh, the atom x series um, and the new haswell u and bay trail u series soc so let's just kick off something this is streaming from onedrive and uh, we'll just turn that up you should recognize this if you're a if you're a fan it's the old meet mobility podcast theme tune and we'll leave it there by switching off the tablet and showing you that everything's still running in the background. Thanks for watching. There'll be more Windows 10 videos soon, so stay tuned.